Hi kids today we'll listen to the story of Tenali Rama and the Haunted Mansion. In the bustling city of Vijayanagara, where the grandeur of the royal court rivaled the brilliance of the sun, lived a man whose wit and wisdom shone even brighter. His name was Tenali Rama, the most renowned courtier in the court of King Krishna Devaraya. Tenali Rama's cleverness was legendary and his quick wit was a constant source of amusement for the king and his court. One warm evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and pink, Tenali Rama decided to take a leisurely stroll through the vibrant streets of Vijayanagara. The city was abuzz with activity, merchants hawking their wares, children playing games, and the aroma of street food filling the air. As Tenali Rama wandered through the bustling marketplace, he overheard a group of merchants engaged in an animated discussion. They were talking about a mysterious occurrence that had the entire city in a frenzy, the supposed haunting of a once peaceful neighborhood. Curiosity piqued, Tenali Rama approached the group and asked, What is this talk of a haunting, my friends? One of the merchants, named Ramu, replied with a shiver in his voice, O oh, Tenali Rama, it's a dreadful tale. For the past few nights, strange and eerie sounds have been emanating from the abandoned mansion on the outskirts of the city. Ghostly figures have been seen, and the air is filled with an unsettling chill. It's a haunted house, I tell you. The other merchants nodded in agreement, their faces filled with fear. Tenali Rama, ever the skeptic, raised an eyebrow and said, Haunted house, you say? Well, I believe in the power of reason over superstition. Perhaps I shall investigate this matter and put an end to these ghostly tales once and for all. The merchants, though relieved that someone was willing to investigate, looked at Tenali Rama with a mixture of doubt and curiosity. Could he truly solve the mystery of the haunted mansion? The following evening, under the silvery glow of the moon, Tenali Rama set out for the infamous haunted mansion. Armed with nothing but his wit and a lantern, he approached the decrepit structure with caution. The mansion loomed ominously, its windows shattered, and ivy-covered walls exuding an eerie atmosphere. As Tenali Rama cautiously entered the mansion, he heard faint whispers and rustling sounds that seemed to come from all directions. Shadows danced on the walls, and an icy chill permeated the air. Undeterred, Tenali Rama followed the source of the whispers and discovered a room where the sound was most pronounced. To his astonishment, he found a pair of mischievous children, Ravi and Mira, hiding behind a curtain, giggling uncontrollably. Caught in the act, the children burst into laughter. You're not a ghost, Ravi exclaimed. Tenali Rama smiled and said, No, my young friends, I am not a ghost. But you have certainly succeeded in creating quite the illusion. The children explained that they had devised a plan to have some fun at the expense of their superstitious neighbors. They had rigged strings and pulleys to create eerie sounds and used bedsheets to fashion ghostly apparitions that roamed the mansion at night. Tenali Rama chuckled at their creativity and mischievousness. Well, you've certainly succeeded in your endeavor, he said. But it's time to put an end to this haunting and alleviate the fears of the neighborhood. The children readily agreed to abandon their ghostly activities, and Tenali Rama decided to turn the situation into a valuable lesson. He asked Ravi and Mira to invite their neighbors to the mansion the next evening and share the truth about the haunting. The following evening, a crowd gathered outside the haunted mansion, trembling with fear and anticipation. Ravi and Mira stood before them, their heads hung in shame, and explained their prank in detail. As the truth emerged, the initial fear of the neighbors transformed into a mix of relief and amusement. They realized that they had allowed their imaginations to run wild. 
and the haunted mansion was nothing more than a playground for two mischievous children. Tenali Rama, who had been observing the crowd's reactions, stepped forward and said, My friends, this incident teaches us an important lesson, the power of imagination and the influence of superstition. It is easy to succumb to fear when we don't understand something, but when we seek the truth, we often find that reality is far less frightening than what our minds conjure. The neighborhood residents, grateful for Tenali Rama's wisdom, nodded in agreement. They realized that fear could be dispelled with knowledge and understanding. Over time, the haunted mansion became a gathering place for the community, where Ravi and Mira's creativity was channeled into organizing games and storytelling sessions. The once-dreaded mansion was now a source of joy and camaraderie. Word of Tenali Rama's cleverness and wisdom in unraveling the mystery of the haunted mansion spread throughout Vijayanagara. People from all walks of life came to hear the tale, and it became one of the most cherished stories in the city. And so, in the city of Vijayanagara, the legend of Tenali Rama and the hilarious haunting became a testament to the power of reason and the importance of dispelling irrational fears. It served as a reminder that even the most perplexing mysteries could be solved with a sharp mind and a healthy dose of humor. So kids, did you like that story? For more stories like this, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are posted.